Jackson. Bye-bye, Jackson. Unfortunately. See, I've got better things to do with my time than come down here and sort you out. Any charges? No. Despite the fact that you resisted arrest and assaulted a police officer. Thank you. Aye, well, don't thank me. Thank your low sweet girl. She said they threw the first punch. Rental car. It's back where it belongs. Well, then it's a tenor or something. No, I'll drop you at the hospital. Ah, it's Jackson Brody. Yeah. It's not a psychopathic maniac at all. I'm not putting you in my scrapbook. I can smell chips. We have some chips. I'm not at breakfast. You're not eating in my car. I've not had breakfast either. Uh, starving. I will chips for breakfast then. Cheers, mate. You look even worse than you did in hospital. No, do you know? You didn't see me in hospital. You spoke to me, don't you remember? About what? How the hell did you end up with Andrew Jones's driving licence? I they're in my pocket after the crash. And what happened to your stuff? Gun, wallet, phone, everything. So Andrew Jones could be using your identity? Hey, will you take something for me? What? What little Joanna Mason's called nowadays. She's called Joanna Hunter. I knew it. That's Reggie's boss. She's gone missing. Same week Andrew Jones gets out of prison. OK, right, well, we'll check that out. He must have been on that train. Saw me lying there. Reckoned I was a gunner. Wanted to play dead himself. Swap wallets with you. What's Andrew Jones doing on the train to Edinburgh? Where's Andrew Jones? <clears throat> there is something about Dr. Hunter you don't know. <laughs> what should we do on your birthday then, wee man? First birthday? Special? Come on then, girls. Time and tide wait for no one. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, I said. Now! Survivor. They found her eight hours later. She was still hiding in the dunes. Her face was everywhere, all over the papers. Dr. Hunter? Well, back then she was Joanna Mason. Little Joanna Mason. I remember watching it on TV when I was small. My mum cried. She got a new identity. And John's got 30 years. No, we need to get you to hospital, oh, Jackson. Fine, you need to call Mapper. Do you want to hunt out the number? And um, call Stanbridge Prison. I know, these things had crossed my mind. <sighs> You're right. 
He's taken her, hasn't he? There's no reason to think that. She probably found out he got out of a shock, decided to lay low for a few days, told her husband not to tell anyone. Or well, she didn't tell him anything. Either way, the police will track her down now. You said you would. I'll take her home. see you again. Not alive, at least. Patient walks out on me, he stays walked out, usually. Uh, Open wide. My mind to front. Your colleague. Deborah. Deborah. Who's Deborah? Any uh, nausea? Dizziness? No, I'm fine. Why don't you check your hemoglobin levels? Let's take some blood. See how anemic you are. I've got quite an urgent job on. Yes, staying alive. I'll sort a bed out. Yep, absolutely. I'll be sure to give him the message. Thank you. Happy Christmas to you, too. What the bloody hell's all this? Oh, you know, just did some... What? Oh, come on. The place reeks of clinical depression the other 11 and a half months of the year. Oh, and speaking of clinical... Mr. Moore. Mr. Brody. I don't work for clients who lie to me. Ah, yeah, I look, I look, I'm sorry about that, but you, you, you found it, eh? You, you, haven't you? You found it? We're all done. You know where the door is. No, I'm going crazy, I'm... Yeah, I found her. She wants a break from you. Can't say I blame her. I'm sure she'll be back after Christmas. Where'd she go? I'm not going to tell you. Oh. Did you get to you? Did you sleep with her? Think about what you're saying. Did you? Did you screw That's her? enough! Now go home and calm yourself down. Yes? How's the hospital? Uh, yeah, lovely. I spoke to Stenbridge Prison. Jones only had two visitors in the last 18 months. Catholic priest who came every week and Joanna Hunter. You're kidding. How many times? Just the once, about a month before he was released. We spoke to Neil Hunter. Apparently, she told him she needed to get away for a few days. She's just laying low, Jackson. She's fine. Yeah. Well, she's not gone to visit her aunt, has she? What? Well, you told your nanny that she'd gone to visit her aunt, but 
She asked. Why would you tell her that? Reggie told the police. Oh, well, she was worried. Well, oh, Joe had to get away, didn't she? I covered for her. I'm confused. You were covering for her before you knew you had a reason. Well, I was just embarrassed as far as Reggie's concerned. Me and Joe had a row, and, you know. And I guess she must have provoked it. So I wouldn't wonder why she went. And Reggie's so attached to Joe anyway. I mean, she looks at me like I'm shite. Mr Hunter, do you or do you not know where your wife is? No. She's not committed any crime, has she? She just didn't want to be around when Andrew Jones came out. Are you not concerned about her? Aye. She's her own woman, you know. And she's tough. Joe can take care of herself. Happy birthday, darling. That's it. Gabriel will never be a baby again. Reggie, do you think that you can make people do things that they don't want to do? Yeah, of course you can. If somebody asked you to harm yourself, would you do it? Are you still here? No. Would you mind if I stash my presents in there? Fine. Jackson, what are you going to do on the 25th? Whiskey, probably. Hmm, nice. And have you at least thought about what to get Marley? Not yet, no. Well, the bank called earlier and your new credit cards are ready to pick up, so there's no excuse. Jackson? Jackson? See you tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> Is it Archie? This had better be bloody good, Jackson. <laughs> so, clearly a little bit of difficulty adjusting to his newfound freedom. We'll find out where he got the gun. What suicide, do you reckon? Well, 30 years of loneliness, guilt. I told you he'd converted to Catholicism. 
He goes back to the scene of the crime and blows his brains out. And Joanna Hunter went to see him a month ago. Aye, that's right. And then what? That was his last visit. But if somebody asked you to harm yourself, would you do it? Where does she know? She manufactured an argument with her husband. She's just gone away for a couple of days. She's hiding like she did all those years ago, Jackson. And you know what? I don't really blame her. Maybe. You look very, uh... dressed. Did I interrupt something? You always interrupt something, Jackson. Are you sure it was your husband, Mrs. Murray? Yeah. Did he threaten you? Well, I, I had my headphones in, and then I just came straight in here. But he banged on that door for a while, and he was swearing and stuff, so I thought I should call you. OK, um... Look, I, I'm sorry, uh, Michelle, but there's... There's no actual crime. I know it, it's worrying for you. No, it is worrying. The guy got a private detective after me as well. not Jackson Brody. Yeah. Right. Give you my number. If he shows up again, just call me. Okay, whenever. No problem. Right. Neil Hunter. He owns, or part owns, three amusement arcades, two health clubs, a fleet of private hire vehicles, and pays the lease for a couple of beauticians. Criminal record? Nope. Couple of parking fines. One of his places burnt down a few years ago, but it wasn't suspicious, just an electrical fault. Right. And Mr Moore phoned again three times. What's he want? Uh, well, first, he said that he'd found his wife uh, without your help. Then he said he wanted to talk man to man and would you go for a drink with him. Then he started crying. Dealing with Billy. We're looking for a guy called Reggie. Yeah, I heard of him, swear to God. Uh, what flat is this? Four. Number four, aye. Billy stashed some stuff of yours here. Reggie took it. Yeah, I heard of him. Tell him we'll be back. Bitch. Yeah. So what were they after? I don't know. Did they say anything? Okay, let's call your mum. She's on holiday. Dear Reggie, hotel very nice and clean. Food plentiful. Our waiters called Manuel, they can faulty tears. Drinking lots of sangria, naughty, naughty. Missing you loads. 
take care of your brother, okay? Back soon. Love, Mum. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Do you remember everything? Important stuff. Right. Well, let's call Louise. No, I don't want the police involved. Mum will go mad. All right. Why is this brother of yours? Let me just clear up. I'm fine. I'll be okay. You came about the jaw, right? Yeah. Um, Andrew Jones is dead. He killed himself, looks like. Looks like? Either way, I'm sure Dot Hunter will be home soon. Join the police, Marcus. Oh, uh, uh, usual reasons, really. Um, public sector pension. Wanted to try and make a difference. What about you, boss? I wanted to hit people with a stick. <laughs> Bloody woman. Who's that? Mrs. Michelle Moore. She's run off with some bloke from accounts and her husband's taking it badly. He, he's one of Brody's lunatics. You gave her your mobile? He was stalking her. Marcus, you shouldn't do that. Yeah, I know, sorry. It was stupid damsel in distress syndrome. It's not a problem. Pass it on to uniform. Yes, boss. Hit people with a stick, Marcus. And don't give him your mobile. To me, the stars don't shine so bright. Seems like to me, the sun has lost its light. Seems like to me, there's nothing going right. Since you went away. Pretty. Too short. Right, well, what are you going to buy her, Jackson? Early Christmas present. Oh, thank you, Santa. There might be a weird message on your phone from me. Just delete it. I was very drunk. So I asked around about your new friends. The ginger one's called Ian, the tattooed one's called Craig. They're a pair of knuckle draggers who work the drugs around Reggie's estate. Reggie's not into drugs. How the hell would you know? Because I know. Oh, nobody knows anybody, Jackson. You told me that. Shh. Still there. Well, Andrew Jones only used your ID to hire a car, so I figure you're about even. Mr Brody. Out there. Mr Brody, she called the police. She's not coming back. Wait out there. We still don't know how he got the gun, but, you know, he's an ex-con. It can't be that tough. I think those Russians down the bag of nails would have sold him one for 50 quid. You should tell the policeman about that. Guys. Mr. Moore, am I going to have to ask this police officer here to escort you from the premises? Have you missed me? Not really. It's been very peaceful, actually. Of course I have you, idiot. Every minute of every day. So what have you been up to? Finding people? I'm trying to find people. I'm trying not to lose any more. Listen, I want to talk to you about what you've been up to, OK? I've not been up to much, just having fun. I mean, it's fun out here. That's what I'm talking about. Like, surfing, for instance, is dangerous. You need proper instruction. I've got proper instruction, Dad. Well, from who? 
I'm that bloke. Stuart. Yeah, who, who's Stuart? He's a neighbour. He teaches me how to surf, and he's a one-parent family as well. We're not a one-parent family. I'm your dad. Listen, as soon as I can, I'm going to come down there and remind you what I look like. All right. Come in. Right, gotta go, Dad. Love you. Well, ho hold on. You have 12 million voicemails. Where are you, Jackson? Hmm? Last seen in the company of a teenage girl. Do you know, I, I bloody despair of you, man. I do... Jackson, how dare you walk out of the hospital in your state? And how dare you speak to me like that in there? It's not cooked, is it? <laughs> now the outside is cooked. So 50% of it is cooked. The wine's good. Yeah, oh, it's only because you brought it. Yes, well, I've got a terrible confession to make. What? I didn't come here for the food. Bloody Archie. Ignore it. No, I can't leave him out there. I can't. Oh, piss off. Sorry. Yeah, I know it's late. That would be why I told you to piss off. That and a few thousand other reasons which I can't even begin to go into now. Yeah. What did I say to you at the hospital? Hey. <sighs> what are you doing here? <laughs> Oddly enough, that was exactly what I was thinking. Um, are you coming in? Uh... I've, uh, brought some rather nice wine around for Louise and I to share. Can I get you a little? Uh... Right. She's made some souffle. They're very nice. Have one. Have them all. Thanks. Look, I'm... Just... <sighs> I wanted to talk to you about Joanna Hunter. I couldn't get you to the office. Yeah? Well, I just think we should look for her a bit harder. You doing this for age's sake? I'm doing it because her husband lied about her disappearing when he had no reason to. Oh, God. Yeah. Even in the best of marriages, a few white lies are necessary to make life bearable. Really? Your wife disappeared. I see you're an expert. And my wife died three years ago. Cancer. I can tell you're feeling better, Jackson. Sorry. I didn't mean... Just piss off like I asked you to. Nope. No, I talked to that lady detective. She says nothing to do with the police. I'm sorry you got that impression. I've been engaged privately to find your wife. By who? By the nanny? Come off her. It doesn't matter who. What matters is where she is. Look, she just called me, right, Joe? I just spoke to her. She's in the countryside, so you and Rachel can back off. When did she call? Just now. I was about to call the police. The real police. So where is she? Friends of ours. Who? What's the address? Look, she's fine. It's nothing to do with you. Goodbye. <laughs> Please, listen, I'm sorry. I really am sorry. It's Marcus, Barracuda Chippy, and Ginger and Tattoo Man hang out there in an afternoon making deals. Louise wishes me to tell you that this is the last thing she does for you. I will tell her uh, thanks, but make sure she knows I'm sorry, all right? I don't think she cares. <laughs> Hello, boys. You remember me, do you? Aye. You're the tranny who won Big Brother. <laughs> Piss off. Pleasure. Right after you tell me why you trashed my friend's flat. Go suck your balls. 
the English prick. What do you want with Reggie? Reggie? You know where Reggie is? You better tell me. Uh, leave her, go! Get off my boss! Give me an answer. We just want more trousers. Wishes. Our gear. Billy didn't pay for it. Billy who? Billy Teague. Please. It's our gear. What did I tell you? Well, why do you think Reggie's got it? He took it the knee. So says Billy. Now you listen to me, you little prick. You go near Reggie or that flat again, and I'll have these for earrings. Do you understand? I might not be able to have kids now. Well, that's a shame. You've not been telling me the whole truth, Reggie. I have, swear to God. Those lads were around here yesterday, drug dealers. They said you took drugs from Billy Teague. Who was that, your brother? He's an arsehole. So, are you involved in drugs in some way? How dare you? I'm a nanny, I work in a supermarket, I do ironing, and on Sundays I work at Mr Akbar's paper shop. How dare you think that I do drugs? I'm, I've got no time, I've been doing studies and All stuff. All right. <laughs> but where is your mum? She's on holiday. That postcard was sent over a year ago. Come on. Where is she? She's dead. Sorry. She drowned in the pool. Her hair got sucked into the pump. I got that postcard three days after they told me. Why, why would you...? Been trying to act like we're all sticking together, like we did when Mum was here. And Billy? He's my brother. He's all I got now. Well, he's not much of a brother, if you ask me. Sending those two around here. Saying you got his drugs. I do. Ms McDonald was coaching me for my A-levels. If me to study on my own sometimes. Oh. They were in Mum's room. I couldn't have them there. Miss McDonald can't reach there. Here. Where the hell are they? Do you know what they've done to me? Where have you been? You're an arsehole, Billy. Really? So glad you could make it. Who's he? Is this what you've been looking for? That's my property. Who the hell do you think you are? Morgan Freeman. What? You should have never have taken that stuff, Reggie. You should never have put it in Mum's room. What's the difference? It's not like she's gonna find it. It's all we have of her. It was. Until they came and trashed it. Mum was an old tart. Shut your mouth. She was an old tart. You never seen it. I did. You don't bloody see people. Like Dr Hunter. She's so perfect, day. Eh? I could tell you a thing hey. too. What do you know about Joe Hunter? Give us that and you'll find out. Tell me. And I might. She's married to a crook. He invited men once. When I was waiting for Reggie, he asked me to burn down the amusement arcade. He seemed pretty desperate. Did you do it? Would that be telling? Just piss off, Billy. Give us that then. Your brother, your call. For Christ's sake, don't kill me! Enough's enough. You better get out of town, really. And quick. Then where am I meant to go? Don't know. I don't care. Anywhere. Away from me. You can have a go. Come on, give me an excuse. I've had enough of this shite. Get the hell out. You lied about Joanna. You had one of your buildings deliberately burnt down. You're obviously in trouble. Is someone threatening This is bollocks. I'll call the police. Go on, then. Got one speed down. Here you go. 
I turn it off. It's ringing. Turn it off. Look, you, you've, you've got to go. I can sort this myself, please. Whatever it is, I can help you. I don't want your help. This is my family. I can sort it myself. Jesus Christ! I can protect my own family. Where is she, then? It's just with... It's just with Michael Anderson. Oh, shit. Well, who's he? He's a gangster from Glasgow. Couldn't pay it back. I, I told the arcade, but there wasn't enough in the settlement. And, and then the other night, I, I, I get back. There's a note from Joe. If I sign over the businesses, I can have her and the baby back in time for Christmas. And you didn't sign straight away. I was trying to find the money. I was, I was trying to be the man. You know, it's not my house. I don't make the decisions. But don't you make it? I don't care about my family. Where are they now? Oh, he's, he's, he's not going to hurt her. It's just... He's on his way over. He's got to go. She wouldn't know. It doesn't sound like they're not going to hurt her. It's just... He's just trying to scare me, you know, rough me up. Christ, they're here. They're... All right, listen to me. You tell me you want proof of life. All right, resist a little bit at first, then tell them they'll sign everything if they give you proof Joanna is still alive. Neil! I... Will you do that? Aye, OK, OK. Trying to raise the money. I'm almost there. I can't, I can't just click my fingers. And then sign over your businesses. I need to know she's still alive. Sign over, and you'll know. I need to know before. You know, I'll talk to my lawyers. What sort of man are you? Hmm? What? Look, I've told you I'll find the money, all right? I, j I just need to know she's alive. Give me a day, a couple more days, eh? Stay here, Reggie. Promise me you're staying here. Promise. 
promise. What if you don't come back? Well, then you run. husband's still thinking about whether he wants to play. He must love you both very much. So you, you need to write him another note. What's that right? Tell him it'll be you first and then the baby. I can't, I can't write with my hands tied. I think he's fainted. Baby grown up with us. Do you understand me? Not like I had. Yeah. What happened? Take her back to the car. When I saw my family after what he'd done to them, I swore that I'd never run away again. I'd stay, protect. Sometimes you can't protect people. I can. That's what I do. I feel guilty that I'm still alive. Every day I feel guilty. He's dead now, anyway. Andrew Jones, so... It's all over. Do I know you? You survived, Jonah. You've got a beautiful baby. You can get on with your life now. Move on.
So you were just wandering around for, what, a week? I was upset when they told me that Jones was coming out. Mm-hmm. Where were you? I can't remember. Disassociative fugue state, it's called. Temporary loss of memory due to the memory of a previous trauma. I came to my senses and I came home. Right. Jackson Brody. Mr Brody, it's uh, Gary Moore here. You've been told not to call, Gary. I'm just ringing to say sorry and, and, and thanks. And, uh, but sorry, I, I was a pest. That's all right. I've got it all sorted out now. Everything's going to be all right. You'll see. Good. Jackson Brood is at the bottom of this, I know it. Well, she's back. Right. All wrapped up in a nice, tidy bundle. The kind you wouldn't want to tread in. <sighs> Strathclyde are asking about a crook called Anderson. He's gone missing, they think, over here. I've never heard of him. Sorry. Hello? OK, just calm down. I'm sure he's only saying that to... Oh, don't go down there yourself, Michelle. What's that? <laughs> My damsel in distress. Don't you run around after her. Just open the door! You're an embarrassment to yourself. You're an embarrassment oh, to Michelle, me. Michelle, please open the door. Forgive him, folks. Get him, you slut! Did you just call me a slut? Look, open the door! I'm your husband! I'm ordering you to open the door! Go down the stairs, my dear, shall I? I'll give it a rip. No, 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 I recognise you. I saw you. I saw what you did. I saw you coming out of that house. What? I saw you! Gary! <laughs> Shh! Shh! <laughs> Call an ambulance! <laughs> I'm here. Look at me. You're all right, Gary. OK. <laughs> <laughs> You're okay. I'm here. You'll be all right. I got you. All right. You're all right. You're all right. My father. Max. Could use a little mercy now. The fruit of his labor falling right slowly on the ground. His work is almost over, it won't be long, he won't be around. I love my father, he could use some mercy now. My brother. Could use a little mercy now. He's a stranger to freedom. He's shackled to his fear and his doubt. The pain that he lives in, it's almost more than living well. I love my brother He could use some mercy now I'm sorry My church and my country Could you use a little mercy now Oh! Hey! 
Merry Christmas, gorgeous. Merry Christmas, Dad. It's really sunny here. It's miserable here. So, thanks for this. I'm not sure it's true. You're a bit of a strange kind of dad, but still, you're the best. <laughs> Did you get mine? Yeah, thanks for the surfboard. It's fantastic. You enjoy it. And I will be careful. Yeah, I know you will. All right, go on. You go on. Wish Merry Christmas to your mum and anyone who's there, all right? OK. I love you. Love you. This is for mm. Neil. Well, um, just put it with his other stuff there. There you go. Uh, oh, I'll get it. Oh, thanks, Rachel. <laughs> Who's my boy? Oh, you're a lucky boy, aren't you? Eh? Look. Look at that. Yellow Hello. Hello. I really can't stay up. I, I just put my TV that. Thank you very much. Aha. Mm. Uh -huh. <laughs> that is quite good. I'll go and get yours. Mm. Mm. How can the dog get along with The Catholics aren't allowed to kill themselves, are they? What? I spoke to Jones's priest. He said he stopped taking the sacrament after he visited. What did you say to him? This and that. You know how it is. Not really. I can't imagine how it is. Well, maybe when he saw me all grown up and with the baby, maybe he thought that that's what he deserved. Yeah. He took your baby. Yes. Here you go. Very kind. Well, stay for dinner, eh? Jackson, my Jackson. There's plenty. Homegrown, except the turkey. Yes, do. Ah, uh, I... Oh, come on. You've no family. You're going nowhere today. Come on. I do have a family, actually. But they're all in New Zealand, and there's nobody in Edinburgh that loves you as much as us. I can't. The summer I've got to be. But... Thanks for this. You have a great day. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh. Thank you very much. <laughs> Merry Christmas, you. I do know you, don't I? From somewhere. I've just got one of those faces. Mm. Oh. Hey. Merry Christmas. Hello. Same to you. Do you come in? Oh, you're all right. Patrick here? Um, uh, no, he's at his brother's. What do you want? Uh, I was just wondering... About? Um, the hospital, what I sent to you. There's nothing. It's nothing important, anyway. Right. Well, it's nothing important. What was it? You were rambling. And you told me you loved me. Good. That's about right, then. Okay. Is it? Do you want to come in? We've got time. I don't want to interrupt anything. You're always interrupting something, Jackson.
तुम सुन रहे